Hello viewers, this is Wagoda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on how to calculate the resultant of a system of forces which form a triangle or a hexagon. So this formula was already seen in the previous lesson, not that a theta is the angle to the horizontal. So we shall start with one, a problem. ABC is an equilateral triangle, forces of 5, 12 newtons, 6 newtons and 10 newtons act along AB, BC and CA respectively. The direction of the forces being indicated by the order of the letter. So taking AB as horizontal, find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. So like we have always done, the first step is to list down the force with their corresponding directions. So they told us it's a triangle, so we first draw a triangle. Labeling is done in an anticlockwise direction. They told us AB is the horizontal, so you have to put it horizontally. So it will be ABC, that is anticlockwise direction. And they told us it is an equilateral triangle, meaning all sides are equal and therefore all angles inside will be equal to 60 degrees. After putting the angles, you are now label the forces. AB is for 12 newtons, so AB put 12. BC is for 6 newtons, so come to BC, put 6. CA is for 10 newtons, come to CA, put 10. The next step will be now converting them to vector form, in other words, resolving horizontally and vertically. So 12 is entirely horizontal, so it will be 12, 0. 6 is at an angle, so Horizontally, it will be negative 6 cos 60, and vertically, it will be positive 6 sine 60, which is that. Negative because it's going to the left, positive because it's going to, it's going upwards. For 10, horizontally, it will be negative 10 cos 60, and vertically, it will be negative 10 sine 60. Negative because it's going to the left and also negative vertical because it's going downwards. So when you add everything up here for the horizontal component, we shall get 4. And when you add for the vertical component, we shall get negative 3.4641. So that will be our vector form for the resultant force. But remember, they wanted magnitude and direction. So come and get the magnitude of this vector, 4 squared plus negative 3.4641 squared, everything under root will give you 5.2915 newtons. So that will be the magnitude of the resultant force. For the direction, you shall have to first come to the vector of the resultant. 4 is positive, which is that. 3.4641 is negative, so it will be downward. The line joining the starting point to the end point will denote the resultant force. So this is opposite, this is adjacent, meaning tan theta will be equal to opposite over adjacent. That gives you theta as 40.8934 degrees. Of that we shall now conclude that the magnitude of the resultant force is 14. So the magnitude of the resultant force is 5.2915, which is that. Acting in the direction, this 40.89 three four below the positive horizontal so that's how they get the resultant of a force when the forces form a triangle what if it was a hexagon so this problem shows a hexagon eight seven six four seven and six act along the sides of a regular hexagon regular means all sides are equal a b c d e f in the directions a b C, B, C, D, D, E, E, F, and F, A, respectively. With A, B, horizontal. So taking A, B as the horizontal, find the magnitude and direction of the resultant. So the first step is to list down the forces with their respective directions. After that, come and draw your hexagon. Hexagon is a six-sided polygon. Regular meaning all sides are equal. All of that you label in an anti-clockwise direction. So A, B, C, D, E, F. From there we shall now include the forces. A, B is for 8. 8. 
then CB, CB is 7, CD is 6, come to CD put 6, DE is 4, come to DE put 4, EF is 7, come to EF put 7, and FA is 6, come to FA put 6. Now we know that for a regular hexagon, interior angle of one side is 120. So when, because it's regular, it divides into 2. So this will be 60, this will be 60, same applies to here, 60, 60. We shall use those now to resolve. Next part is to resolve horizontally and vertically. We shall start with 8. 8 is entirely horizontal, so it will be 8, 0. Now 7 is inclined at an angle 60, meaning it will be horizontally negative, because it's going to the left, negative 7, cos 60, and vertically it will also be negative, it's going downwards, negative 7, sine 60, which is that. For 6, it will be negative 6 sine 60, positive 6, sorry, negative 6 cos 60, positive 6 sine 60, which is that. Then for 4, it is entirely horizontal going to the left, meaning it will be negative 4, 0. For this 7 again, this is, this is 60, so it will be negative, it will be negative 7 cos 60, negative 7 sine 60. Which is that for six it will be negative sorry it is going to the right so it will be positive six cos sixty and negative six sine sixty which is that when you add everything on the horizontal component we shall get negative three everything on the vertical component we shall get negative twelve point one two four four so get the magnitude it will be three squared plus twelve point one two four four squared everything under root to give you 12.4900 so that will be your magnitude of the resultant for the direction 3 was negative so it's negative horizontal 12 was negative so it's negative vertical opposite adjacent so tan theta will be equal to 12.1244 over 3 when you calculate that we shall get theta as 76.102 that we shall now conclude that our magnitude of the resultant is 12.490 newtons acting in the direction 76.1202 76.1022 below the negative horizontal so that has been the end of our lesson thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel ROA e-learning platform I remain Wagada Ronald thank you